Hello, and welcome to No Such Thing as a Bad Movie podcast. I'm April Edmanski, and I'm here today with... Justin DeGlue. <laughs> And, and Colin Cunningham. Why, a, are you, why are you so got an old up? corpse in the... Uh, it's in the been a hundred episodes. Oh my God. <laughs> and we've been in the recording room oh, the whole time. <laughs> new, new, new. We, we didn't record them all at once, Justin. Oh, we did? It feels right. like it has. It's like, it's like at the it's end of... Uh, I can't believe that. I thought we did a hundred like, you know, No, that's year. Sean Connery movie, uh, Zardoz. <laughs> They're like slowly <laughs> aging. Yes, it's been a hundred episodes. Uh, it's, that sounds like a lot. Uh, we have been doing this for like four years or something like that. Good so. God. Because when you only do it bi-weekly, it takes a long time to get to a hundred. But when you add all the Patreons in there, you know, we've done even more. So oh. that's great. So this is just regular episodes? Yes. Wow. Wow. Well Patreons, done. I think we're up to like 70 something or something like that. Wow. Yeah, so congratulations, wow. you guys. Wow. Can you believe, looking back, can you believe we used to do two movies? <laughs> yeah, yes. that's crazy. That's a lot of a lot of movie watching and a lot of movie talking, even though our episodes were shorter. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, guys, you know, slow it down. Let's just do one. We're going to burn through all the movies too quick. <laughs> yeah. We have to go through the plot scene by, by scene. scene. Yeah. Well, uh, again, nobody ever complained. Nobody ever said anything when we uh, changed to the one movie format. And uh, I think it works out better because we're able to spend a little more time dissecting these films who deserve the attention. This brought last week. Somebody commented or emailed us or something and said, "My only complaint is I wish your episodes were longer." Really? <laughs> oh my god! Like, wow. I, I think that uh, an hour. Or like a we over hate an movies hour. go on for like three hours. Jesus God, sometimes. that's too no. Much. They don't do three hours. They, they do, do like, like an hour two and a half. Hours, I yeah. feel that's too yeah. much. <laughs> we're gonna switch to the what a cartoon format. Five hour podcast. Oh, oh yeah, god. we play clips of the. Movie movies and then riff on exactly what happened no. and we can be like oh this scene is very well filmed you know th- it's not that easy to film scenes like this it's true um but anyway Listen, it's hard to talk about animation we got let's, movies it's let's easy never do that let's i just want to thank the fans who are st- listening to us still listening to us if anyone was actually you know a day one listener i have no idea but uh thank you for if you love listening. super mario brothers and you came to this to listen to us talk about how much we love it Close the podcast now. <laughs> yeah, so those who don't know, we did it. We ran a poll. We took suggestions from our audience, and then we had selected four suggestions for a poll. What were they? They were. It was Chappie, not Nuki. Mac and me. Mac and me. Chappie, uh, Corky Romano. And Super and Mario. Super Mario Bros. And it was Mac and me and Super Mario Bros. for a bit. Really? But I knew Super yeah. Mario Bros. was going to win the second it was on that list. Why? I, just, like, I had no clue. Everything has already been said about this movie. I know, but people have an affinity for it, and they know the movie. So that's what they're going to go for. <laughs> like, Chappie has no cult around it, so that's not going to win. Yeah, and I think Corky Romano was more the dark horse, and uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone really As cared about that. people used to call Chris Kattan on SNL the yeah, dark horse dark of Saturday horse. Night Live. But also Mac and me, people know about it because it's been kind of memed to death well, by Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd has so. kept that Don't alive. people want to discuss a man, me, who was in the room <laughs> thanks to our friend Peter Kaplowski when we discovered the deleted scene of Mac and me? Yeah, just so you all know, Justin helped discover the scene where the kid gets shot on the, the wheelchair. Was so it like the Japanese version? We broke the news. And he broke the by news. help discover, it was <laughs> Peter told us he had the scene and me saying, that does not exist. There is no way <laughs> no one has discovered that before. And it was on the VHS that he had from Japan. And no one had. And it got, you, you put it on Twitter and it, it blew up. People were t- yep. uh, tweeting like Conan O'Brien about it as well. And mm-hmm. like Paul Rudd. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so funny if you haven't seen that scene of the kid literally being shot on screen and, and going, <laughs> ooh, ooh, <laughs> in a yeah. wheelchair. He's, he's shot by the Wishmaster too. It was such a big deal that the director had to go and create a Twitter account to say that that is not part of his version of the movie. Really? Wow. Did that happen? Oh, yeah. Yep, he did. He created a Twitter account just to say that. <laughs> well, all because uh, of you, Justin. Wow. And no, because par- of Peter Kapowski. Partially because of you. <laughs> yeah, partially. The man who had the VHS tape brought it, played it. <laughs> yes, um, but you were in the room. You were I laughing. I was in the room. And I am the one who kept telling him, there is no way that exists, There's, which prompted him to finally bring the tape over. So it was really thanks to you. Oh, yeah, 100% um, me. So maybe we'll talk about Mac and Me someday. <laughs> I've never seen that. that Only movie that movie looked though. really gross. You've it, never uh, seen Mac and Me? No. no. 
Oh, I've only seen it. Re- I only saw it when the Blu-ray came out uh, recently. Was the first time I watched it, and I found it so entertaining and fun. Really, <laughs> and, really. Like yeah, like like not like oh, it's so bad. Just like laughing and smiling throughout <laughs> it. So I feel it's one of those movies that it's been reviewed so many times, like on YouTube, that I just mm. feel that I've seen it and I don't really. Yeah, need I've to. seen like the scene where like they go to the McDonald's yeah, and he like dances on the countertop. Or but something. like you don't understand how the like aliens look like like starving people and they're giving <laughs> the elixir of life which is coca-cola oh, God, at the climax yeah. of the film oh, boy, <laughs> but that's not the movie we're here to talk i'm putting my grim face on because we're here to talk about super mario brothers oh yes, my gosh another gross movie you know um, you think about uh, super mario brothers april you're like a huge fan of the game like what, yes. what are you, the first images that come to your mind um bright and colorful cartoony jumping really high Cute. um hitting your head with bricks um smashing turts um you know, wait Koopas, i'm sorry Koopas, Koopas, turts? Turts? turtles Koopas. oh turts <laughs> yeah not tur- is, that what the, is that what the super mario heads call them <laughs> yes <laughs> it does wow it is i like that you know you also think of like goombas they have big heads and yeah. the creator of super mario brothers go no they have little heads <laughs> the opposite of yeah what they believe are. me i took high umbrage with that <laughs> let's give people what they don't want but that's exactly what this movie is. Yeah. Now, I want to apologize if anyone out there actually likes this movie um, because I'm going to be insulting it. But I'm going to say that I have seen Super Mario Brothers probably more times than any film I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> this is the second time I've seen it. The first time I saw it was in theaters on opening weekend. <laughs> <laughs> this is also probably the second time for me because I do remember renting this as a kid, but I hated it then. I remember two scenes and uh, I hadn't seen it since. So I'm really not familiar with this movie. And I know a lot of people grew up watching it all the time. And so oh, they yeah. have nostalgia for it. But, you know, I have nostalgia for <laughs> Hook, but Hook is an actually good movie. Oh, my, all right, Hook will be my, coming soon to this podcast. My, I'm back and away. But we can't remember the concept of this podcast, so we I like have how to April's find defending. Good... She's like, listen, Super Mario is bad, but Hook is good. <laughs> it is, but we have to uh, find the good things in this movie, which we will. There are. They do exist. People want background information on this movie. There is a great uh, series of episodes on uh, Best Movie Never Made, which is mm. a podcast co-run by Josh Miller, the guy who writes the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. Oh, God. And he and his partner, Steven Scarlatta, I'm sorry if I get any of these names wrong, they go through every draft of the script that was written for this movie. Holy And shit. let me just say, oh my God. right from the first script, they got it. They made a Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> yeah. And it had all the elements you would want. It, I believe it was the first draft written by Ed Solomon and the other fellow who wrote Bill and Ted. Mm-hmm. And in the Hollywood system, what happens is when you do more drafts of a script, you take away stuff and they never get put back in. Yeah. Because it's always additive. It's never, um, you know, picking all the best parts. It's true. The more rewrites you go through, the worse it gets. And, and by God. We, it's we... too many cooks <laughs> and it's like, yes. And the, it's the, new cooks each time. The writers, it's, they're not at fault because, yeah, they're brought in. They're just told what to do like yeah. do this they have no context for what came before so they're just like you know each each person kind of like tweaks it a little bit and it just ends up being a huge mess yeah and the producers clearly were too involved and didn't <laughs> let people have enough creative what's control. fascinating about this movie is that i think it was mostly an independent production mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. roland joffe the producer of this yeah film, i know got the rights on his own. Yes, that's right. Roland Joffe, the director of The Mission, the Robert De Niro right. movie. And The Killing Fields. And The Killing Fields. He went directly to Nintendo himself and got the rights to Super Mario Bros. Which is crazy. Basically getting it by selling it on the dinosaur angle in the room. Yeah, he's, he was he, like, he wanted oh, to yeah. be dinosaurs. And they were like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's go with that. He wanted, he pitched like the dark and gritty or something like that. That, uh, But then he gave Nintendo 100% of the merchandising rights. Uh, and they would like. They made so much money, right? Yeah. Right? Well, they did. Everyone keep- has a Bob Hoskins <laughs> Super Mario doll on their shelf. <laughs> 
actually kind of want one of those. Well, they're get one. probably right next to those virus action figures that you found in New York. <laughs> yeah. I bought none of those. Oh, oh you can you get the seven dollar Richie. <laughs> Uh, I could just go on eBay and get them all if you I wanted. Should have splurged on the Captain wow, the Ant- Bob Hoskins action figure for Super Mario Brothers looks very close to Bob Hoskins. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad. And I'm sure, yeah, they're probably all over eBay. People bought them mm. when they were kids and they're trying to sell them. No, they just dug up some like garbage dump. <laughs> but you'll probably find those yeah. action figures like in those you go to like Salvation Army or a comic book store and they just have an open box of action figures <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Exactly. that's where Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo are <laughs> yeah. living right now there would be a full box of one of these because mm-hmm. it's it, somebody just like took them from Toys R Us and like delivered a, <laughs> an entire like pallet full of these things now I, right from the get go I think the film's biggest failing is Annabelle Jenkel and Rocky Morton, the directors of this film, yeah. who clearly do not want to make something based on the Super Mario Brothers. Well, it's just, yeah, you know, we watched the uh, video game historian does a great video essay on this on YouTube. Uh, it's very informative. Um, it sounds like everybody hated them during production. There's all kinds of stories from behind the production on this. And they were supposedly monstrous, too. Like, uh, there's a story of one of the directors... They didn't like how one of the extras looked. Yeah. He wasn't dirty enough, so <laughs> yeah. he pulled. He poured a thing of hot coffee all over him, like on set. Like yeah, and it went, it went inside of his rubber mask and couldn't drain, so it just like mm-hmm. filled up his mask and burned him. <laughs> yeah, and the, yeah, oh, so everyone God. hated them. But the the problem is dark and gritty. Yeah, the, you the, don't make a Mario Bros movie dark and gritty. I don't think that's a problem. I think that this Ugh. movie has many problems. One of them <laughs> being that awful awful Alan Silvestri score. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I literally almost <laughs> forgot. <laughs> because that video oh, that video that we watched never mentions it once. Yeah. It's so oppressive and it's like the same fucking song. And, over and, and over. I think what happened was they saw the cut of the film which you know maybe is okay. Uh, it's not. It's bad. <laughs> but like if you had like a droning techno music over this yeah. probably more fun. I agree but every so every couple scenes it's just this like and it's it's so at odds with what's happening on screen. I love how the movie mocks you right at the beginning because it's like do 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 like right in the oh. opening as a title card comes up. You're like, oh. here we go. And then wait, what's this? What are the shitty like non eight bit animation we're seeing? Wait, why is Dan Castellaneta uh, explaining where the dinosaurs? Oh came yeah, from? it was like like a P- like a PC mm-hmm. Amiga animated like ms not Paint super mario thing. brothers at yeah, all yeah. yeah right from the get-go yeah and all the dinosaurs are talking like wise guys so it's like brooklyn 65 million years ago and they're like hey life is good and then oh uh, no and then it's like and then a meteorite hit well, and you don't really see the meteorite then hit. It, no <laughs> then like... it then it turns into live action for some reason and then mm-hmm. it's like the meteor hits off screen and then you just get this weird I don't know, experimental computer graphics thing where like you're going into this other dimension. Oh, okay. I will say <laughs> at least it was bizarre. ambitious. I guess. Now yeah. people are arguing us with us right now, which is like, oh, but you don't understand. This was creative. It had real sets. Animatronics look amazing. There's... And I will go, yes, some of them look amazing. I find this movie a deeply unpleasant experience. Though. It's, it's yeah. very obnoxious. I, it's I just, agree. There's too much... Uh, Everything like works against itself in this movie. And I would say, watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's a movie that has a very similar tone to Mario Brothers, but it works. Know. I don't know. This that movie's good. This dark and gritty was a horrible, horrible idea. I'm, for, I'm kind it, it just does not work. And I think if, the only way it, it you can kind of like if, is if you just like sit back and don't think of it as like a Super Mario movie. It might have worked as some other like franchise or IP, but. But I don't even think, even taking away from that, like, uh, it's, you know what it reminded me a lot of, too, is, like, Judge Dredd. That's exactly Uh, what I was thinking, was, like, Judge Dredd and Tank Girl, but it's, like, all the worst aspects of those. I would rather watch those. It feels like the deleted scenes from Judge Dredd and Tank Girl make up the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, but what it is, it's, like, what I hate about those movies is just, like, everything is on screen to just make noise, Mm -hmm. and it's just, like, this cacophony of, like, Oh, just horrible noise and images and you just want to yell and at your TV explosions. screen. Explosions. It also reminded me of a movie I haven't seen but I know of called Nothing But Trouble 
where oh, as yeah. the, apparently the people that worked on it yeah. said it was the greatest work they've ever done because they were allowed to just be so creative. What, what, you mean Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase? <laughs> uh, I think that movie is horrifying, but I would watch that movie any day before watching Super Mario Brothers. I will, I will never yeah, watch it. I refuse movie. to watch it. Uh, uh, the two giant baby men, <laughs> one of them played by Dan Aykroyd. Ugh. Beautiful stuff. Never watch it. A roller coaster that rips all your skin off and spits bones out? Yes, please. <laughs> it's kind of in line, though, with that like weird early 90s aesthetic. There was a time period for this type of movie, and I don't think you really see it now. Where it's just... Uh, uh, well, mm-hmm. this movie, if people... It's like Mario Brothers was in the Blade Runner universe. It's like, yeah, they hired the production designer of Blade Runner. Yeah, That's why exactly. it looks like this. It just... <laughs> Does not work. It's like, you know, it, like if you just look at the sets, yeah, fine. Set design, amazing, great. Uh, what is doing in a Mario movie? I don't know. And it's and just, I will say, mm-hmm. I think that Bob Hoskins and uh, John Leguizamo are great casting for these characters. Yeah, like, no, Bob Hoskins especially. I was going to say, like, at the end of the movie, like, nobody really phones it in in this movie. Not even, like... Even Samantha Massis as Daisy is very committed. She's fine. Everybody, like, Dennis Hopper is... Hey, he doesn't, like, ham it up really. Or doing his Trump uh, impression. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but actually, all the actors are... Nobody phones it in. Yeah, they're doing whatever they can. And they know. No, it wasn't like a, a, they know it's bad. Yeah, they weren't on set going like, this will be a masterpiece. We cannot wait <laughs> the, for this to come the out. The stories from behind the scenes are just incredible. Yeah, there's a Blu-ray that came out. Uh, it's available in the UK and Australia. It has like an hour-long documentary with basically everyone still alive being interviewed. Mm-hmm. And it's a delight. Even John Leguizamo's in there being like, we were drunk every day. Oh, yeah. He would drink with uh, Bob Hoskins. And Bob Hoskins like broke his hand. So, oh, I forgot to keep an eye out for that because like sometimes he's wearing like a fake hand. Yeah, like a To cast. cover up his broken hand. But like yeah. Bob Hoskins, he, he said when he signed up, he didn't even know this was a, based on a video game. <laughs> Well, <laughs> the story also goes that supposedly he had uh, read an earlier draft. And he thought that was what the movie was going to be. Well, everybody did. And then when they got on set, they had not only had the directors rewritten it, but then the producer rewrote that behind the director's back. So everybody oh, got God. on set uh, and had this new script that was like nothing nothing like what they had signed on to do they could have all read a different version of the script yeah (laughs) so then the directors were working to get the script back to what it was during the direction process i just have one thing to say to you colin this ain't no game it's the super mario brothers movie yeah it was like right on the poster i have a question not a question but amusing there's a new Mario Bros. movie coming, you guys. Chris yeah. Pratt Chris is going Pratt. to play Mario. Uh, they haven't released any information about what this is. Will it be animated? Will it be live action? We well, don't know. It's 100% know. animated, they, I can assure you. Did they you say that, that though? Yeah, it's, I think it's DreamWorks. No, it's Imagine is in charge of oh, it, okay. the animation yeah. division. They said he was only doing the voice. Okay, and okay. number two, he's not a plumber anymore. What? what? Nintendo came out and said, We never said Mario was a plumber. Okay. How do you feel about that? Well, um, he's wearing overalls, so I guess we all just assume <laughs> he's uh, he could be a farmer. And he goes into pipes. Um, okay. Um, honestly, ugh, this did a new movie. You, I have to say though, when you were watching this movie, you had the most horrified look on your face the entire time. As, as hey, a, you know that the new Mario movie, he's gonna be like, did that just happen? <laughs> Like, yeah, like, say stuff like as that. a Mario fan, all I want from a Mario movie is one that looks exactly like the games. <laughs> well, I'm gonna see. This is something I always think about when I think of Mario. Is like we like the games; they're fun, mm-hmm. and that fun we attach as iconography that literally means nothing. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's nostalgia, and it's a, a nonsensical. Yeah, world that they keep build they keep building on in the games though he goes to and space. people love it they're like I love Mario it's I play true. Mario Odyssey what an amazing and game. Mario so Odyssey most people don't know is about Bowser marrying Peach mm-hmm. and he has to go to each world to get like catering dresses um, bands it's real it's funny like it's a cute concept you're a huge fan of the Mario games April I think that's safe to say <laughs> you're, you're a big she lifts up a big two Nintendo Mario head. tattoos that she has yeah. one arm has Luigi yeah. the other one has I don't know shy guy yeah, yeah, <laughs> no yeah, Mario yeah, yeah. though he's too holy um, so what, what were your thoughts about watching this movie like uh, you... it was a nightmare it was a living <laughs> nightmare um, and yeah like 
I, I can try and maybe get on board with, you know, uh, John Leguizamo and uh, uh, Bob Hoskins because they're kind of charming as the Mario Bros, but everything else is just so annoying. Really, really didn't like the fact that Dennis Hopper is Bowser. He should be a dinosaur. Oh, he's Koopa. Uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's like a, a humanoid dinosaur. Yeah. I, I can't. Uh, I can't get into how insane the stuff is in this movie. Movie Where, and, did the changes offend you? Yes, <laughs> especially the Goombas. I actually like the Goombas. That's like one of no, my favorite. I don't like things. the Goombas. I was very scared as a child watching Toad be horrifyingly turned into a Goomba. Yeah, me, yeah. me too. Like I did then, not like then that. and now. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. And like, then he's lit on fire yeah. later on. Well, he like, doesn't seem to care though. He's put out yeah. soon afterwards. I know nothing about the games or the Mario universe. Or wouldn't you have been the age though to play no. like Mario Brothers three? Um, no. I think I played uh, Super Mario world on my game boy all right and that was let me it? T- let, let's take let's take uh colin through a history of mario brothers very quickly so mario protagonist of donkey kong right uh april the first one i know yeah. that yeah yeah so you played that one yeah yeah that was the um, first game i had for my ColecoVision. yeah and then afterwards uh he was in I, the names are so confusing i think it was just he, called super mario super mario brothers and then Ma- uh, mario brothers 2 was a game that they took from Japan, reskinned as Mario Brothers 2, because the real Super Mario Brothers 2 was so hard that the American distributor was like, we're not releasing this. So yeah. a lot of the iconography is from Doki Doki Panic, something completely unrelated to Mario Brothers, but it's been taken in. Yeah, and so that, and then the third, there was the third one that had the Tanuki suit that I was talking about yesterday. You had no idea what I was talking about because Mario like <laughs> flies at some point and I'm like, where's the Tanuki suit? Or a cape even, which is where he had in Super Mario World. You could be just Nothing. saying random things. Instead, I don't know. he has rocket boots called Thwomps, which Thwomps are not rocket boots. They're big, <laughs> so, they're big stone head guys. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the iconography in this movie is taken from Super Mario Brothers 3. So Kinda, like the big I bombs, guess. which are little bombs in this, the bomb uh, I can't say it, but bombs. bombs. I always said bomb bombs. They actually bombs. say bombs. it in this movie. One of the guys yeah. in the car is like, "Watch out, a bomb." Yeah. Well, everybody does. They it's like they they're terrified of this thing. Oh, you know what else terrified me? Like Koopa turning people into monkeys. That that so, is not from the games. I watched uh, the deleted scenes. I did not have the heart to watch them integrated back in the movie. (laughs) And there's a scene where he melts a guy that was deleted from the movie where he puts him in the thing and he like, I don't, he de-evolves him too far. Oh, into like primordial ooze or something. Yeah. And that's why in the movie you see them slip on slime at one point on the ground uh, when they're in the like transformation room. So it could have been even grosser. It's too dark and gritty, even for me, an adult. Oh, it's 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 horrifying. It is a fucking nightmare watching this movie, and uh, everything is covered in like fungus. This gross fungus. That decision to have fungus really bothered me as a kid too. I did not like. I didn't that. know what like, the hell well, it was. Well, Mario does. You know, mushrooms make him grow. Yeah, but it didn't look so. like this rotting disease that was growing over. <laughs> yeah, everything. and there was a thing. Trust the mushrooms. Yeah, that's so. St- do you think kids went around eating mushrooms <laughs> oh, afterwards, like fungus? Oh, God. He uses a mushroom, like, as a shield at one point. Yeah. <laughs> ah, classic Mario behavior. Uh, That's what we love about our dear Mario. Oh, my God almighty. Uh, so, so the movie starts, though, in New York, uh, right from the get-go. And I was reminded uh, from the beginning of something that I love. Oh, wait. I'll get to that. Because first we have the sequence where uh, Daisy's mom drops her off. It's yeah. an egg. There's two it flashbacks cracks. right after one another. One 65 million and then like one 20 years ago. And it, isn't that the same actress, Samantha Mathis? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, sure. <laughs> Playing her mom? I don't know. I don't know. It looks like I her. think she just looked like her. Yeah. I don't know. She didn't because she doesn't have dual credits on IMDb. So I guess she just looked like her. Uh, yeah, yeah. So a human is born out of an egg. Okay. Yeah, she, and she, the nurses should have been like, burn it. Yeah, they're like uh, nuns. This thing opens. It's like the, uh, uh, the baby Yoda's like little floating crib thing. Like it's opens like up, reveals, reveals this egg, and then a child comes out. They would be sacrificing this thing. And like, uh, yeah. Burning it in like the, the basement furnace. Well, maybe they're dino nuns, okay? I don't know. <laughs> dino nuns? No, they do the sign of the cross, so I think they probably think it's a devil uh, thing. Yeah. 
But after that, we jump to our favorite pals, uh, the Mario Brothers, Mario, uh, Mario, and Luigi Mario. I I, mi- is- I missed it in this movie where they say that. I know that's like famous. That is a fun it's gag. When they're booked, I like that they call it's them when that. they're booked at the police station in uh, mm-hmm. in Dino City in, Di- in Dino Hatton, oh, <laughs> Dino Lynn, Brooklyn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, so yeah. something that I love right from the beginning is that Luigi puts his face on something that was everywhere in the 90s. Those pin things? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, my friend had impression. one, and I thought it was so cool I could put my hand in it. Do those not exist anymore? They were everywhere in the 90s. Um, I used to go to a bar that had them on the uh, on the bar, and you put your face in there, and you just realize, like, uh, hundreds Ew. of people have put their face in this thing. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they sell them at, like, museum gift shops, like oh, at I'm the sci- sure. science center. I just get them yeah. at eBay or something. Uh, I want that and the electric ball. Uh, <laughs> like you know, the we'll plasma ball the that air. you get at the... Yeah. Also of what the was time. that store? The uh, It store. The It store, that's it. Which, they just sell all those weird knickknacks. People not from and our area would not know. I do place. like at the beginning of this movie that the Mario Brothers are poor. They really need a job, especially with um, the Scapelli brothers. <laughs> not to be confused with the brothers that got the chair. <laughs> From the judge. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> That's the Scarelli brothers, isn't it? Scarelli. From Ghostbusters 2? Scarelli brothers from Ghostbusters yeah. 2. But th- the thing is, here's what I don't understand. So they get a call at the beginning. It's like, eh, radiate is broken at whatever, blah, blah, blah. And they're racing like maniacs to get to this job. And they're like, ah, oh, Scapelli beat us to it again. Mm-hmm. It's like, is that how jobs work do people call like plumbers do people call 10 plumbers and then they just say (laughs) well that's how it works with uh tow truck drivers haven't you read the horrifying stories of like the tow truck driver wars oh well that's like a big racket though yeah that the police are involved in so maybe that's the same thing with uh, you know (laughs) i didn't know about that but yeah maybe plumbing's the same way you know it's yeah it's bizarre it's like whoever gets there first gets the job we're gonna call that's like like that episode of mr plow and the simpsons when adam west is like (laughs) i called you half an hour ago I did that once uh, with a cab, not because I was seeing who would get here first, but one was taking a long time. And I think maybe I just like mentioned to the cab driver, oh, I was going to call another one because I was going to be late for a train. And he's like, don't ever do that or mm. we'll both leave and you'll be like blacklisted by the cab companies probably this yeah. was before be uber blacklisted. yeah they're like if you ever call to and wait for the one to get for the cancel the other one will will never come to your house again they they're I pretty picky that, about April. that yeah. i have like i've seen cab drivers like uh you, you know i used to call a cab you know on your phone mm-hmm. not like using the uber app but you'd call a cab a cab would show up you had no idea, right? So, like, this cab would show up. You'd get in the cab. You'd drive away, and another cab would like pull in front of him, like, "Hey, you stole my fare. I was oh, the guy so that you he didn't called. know. Yeah, you didn't know. Is like, a, is yeah. I've been like stopped, and the guy like threatens the other cab driver, and then I'd have to get out of the cab and go to the other one. Oh, it used to be a wild, the wild west of cabs. It was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now it's a lot more organized. Yeah, but you know. But the plumber wars rage on. <laughs> they do. Uh, anyway, so they meet uh, Daisy, who is yeah, a paleontologist. You want to say Peach, don't yeah. you? You want to say Princess so what, Peach? Was Daisy not a princess in the game? I know uh, it was Princess. She, I know Princess Peach. April would know better than me. It's confusing. It started off, I believe, as Princess Daisy, and then it became Princess Toadstool, mm-hmm. and then it became Princess Peach, and then they brought back Daisy as a separate character in the later games as uh, like a reskinned Peach for like. Um, the fighting games or like like Smash Bros or like Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. So she basically looks like Peach, except she has brown hair and a yellow dress. I think it was a different name in Donkey Kong. Apparently, yes, you said it was. It, it uh, was. It wasn't it Pauline or something like that. In oh Donkey yeah, Kong? there was a Pauline. There was, yeah, it was a different. Yeah, it was Pauline, and she appears uh, supposedly. You know, uh, mega fans go through this movie and are like, in the original production documents, uh, Mario's <laughs> girlfriend in this film's middle name is Polly. Whoa! Oh, a wow, what an Easter egg. <laughs> yeah. I know, but if you look at those, like, they're really stretching. They're like, uh, the Scaparelli brothers are supposed to be uh, analogs of uh, Foreman Spike from the this Mario oh, video game. Oh, God. Like, okay. Who could I care? I don't think Who so. Who could care? <laughs> Well, we've already got Iggy and Spike later on. Yeah, so Ugh, we're, the Koopa Twins. We're gonna, or we're gonna the... meet them. Um, so, and to be even more confusing, like Bowser is also known as King Koopa. Yeah, well, different. I think he became Bowser later, like after this mm-hmm. movie, I believe. He was King Koopa in the cartoons. Yeah. 
See, I wish we were talking about the cartoons. You ever yeah. watch those, Colin? You're probably a little too old. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a Mario. Uh, I, I yeah, Captain Lou Albano. I knew of yeah. it, but it's just it was. I don't know. I watched. Didn't it. we have a conversation on this podcast where I talked about him being like, "Fuck you, Luigi." <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know when, but I looked, <laughs> and, you couldn't, and you didn't believe I me. I didn't then, believe. Yeah. I think he sent us the YouTube clip. Didn't I looked you? it up. Yeah, I did. Yes, he does say that. Although I think he was supposed to be saying something else, and he just slipped in a fuck. <laughs> well, they shot those shows like all at once. Yeah, <laughs> the whole like probably in season? one day. You're gonna let an f bomb go. I mean, you're yeah. Captain Lou Albano. Ah, fuck you, Luigi. <laughs> That's what I'm saying and this, when I'm watching this movie. Oh, um, okay, can we get to something happening? Okay, How so about yeah. they go to Dinosaur World? Well, first of all, it's like yeah, Daisy. We were introduced to Daisy. She's like a archaeology like a student. From the, yeah. yeah. So the Scapelli Brothers construction site has been shut down because they've discovered dinosaur bones underneath, blah, blah, blah. Right. Scapelli shows up. He looks like George Hamilton. He's got this like dark tan mm. and like really white teeth. He, like, threatens her. He's like, yeah, you know, you're going to be, like, one of those women that disappeared around here. That's awful. Only in New York. Yeah. <laughs> and she has to walk, like, 10 miles, it seems, to go to a phone booth and, Here's like, my call question. the university for security. Is, so Daisy is from Dino Universe, but she grew <laughs> she up here. She does not know she's from right. Dino Universe. She grew Universe, up in the so. normal world, That's right? right, yeah. Okay. Just checking. It's confusing. And yeah, they meet the Mario brothers. Luigi asks her out on a date and they go on a double date <laughs> with yeah. uh, Luigi. Do you think they have sex together too? Uh, the Mario bros? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably like a one room apartment, it seems. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You know there's like a so. Murphy bed in that place. <laughs> it's also, I, I didn't like that Princess Daisy, Princess Peach, whatever, is with Luigi. It was always Mario's girl. Oh, yeah. Who is Luigi supposed to have, April? Ghost? Is that all he gets? <laughs> yes. He gets a boo? He gets like, you know, how old was Bob Hoskins, you know, when they did this movie? I, I know. He was so much older, so they had to give the young and the hot star the girl. I they're, get it. They're going to have, like, Rhea Perlman is like, you know. Well, he had his own do girlfriend. make reference to the fact that there's a huge age difference between both of them yeah. but luigi is adopted yeah he says that at the right dinner. okay like, yeah you and me as orphans so they could have sex in the same room and it wouldn't be weird yeah, yeah it's not weird it ain't incest step, step, step brothers. <laughs> okay oh. um what uh, uh okay they're at dinner uh they're at dinner and then uh the idiots uh was it iggy and spike yes okay first of all <laughs> oscar winner fisher stevens oscar winner and popular not actor for acting <laughs> not for acting yeah. <laughs> for settle down settle down not for acting for a whale movie <laughs> producing the the movie the cove yeah. although oh, oh sorry i thought it was blackfish no the, i didn't see the cove well i mean he has been in brown face oh boy uh, yes in short, short circuit, circuit too. Two and Short Circuit One. Now who's the? We who's, should really do Short Circuit Two. That's a Toronto movie. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Five gets killed on Queen Street. Yeah, no, we're watching it. Never seen no. it. Okay. Um, but he plays Spike. Uh, who's the other guy? The, the guy's the guy from Ferris Bueller. Okay, he looks like a dorkier version of John Bernthal, who plays the Punisher. He does look like. A dorkier <laughs> He's got like the same John haircut Bernthal. and everything. Um, yeah, so these guys are just like, you know, they're like your bulk and skull. They're, they're, they're just, really, yeah. really annoying they're at this idiots. point. Yeah, the they movie. suck. But they, Every yeah. time they cut to them, it's like, boom. Oh, it's terrible. With their ridiculous haircuts. But then they end up uh, kidnapping like Mario's date instead. They think that's Princess Daisy. And it's, yeah, it's a pretty uh, right. harrowing scene. They put like a bag over her head and like... And, off and Mario yeah. and Luigi go after her, which leads to the probably the first really horrifying image of the movie. Oh God! Which is Princess uh, Daisy's face coming through oh, the my God. CG wall, which, and it looks like she's like in Hellraiser. She's like, ah! yeah, it's horrifying. <laughs> I mean, not to harp on the details, but this makes no sense because there is a portal in the wall, yeah. and why is her face giant and like coming through <laughs> like she's sending a psychic message or something I don't through know. the wall? Uh, that's like something out of like uh, Hellraiser, uh, or the Witch that's Master. All that matters. Yeah. yeah. Do you believe that um, the creator of Mario stole this shimmering portal for Mario 64? Uh, yeah, okay. Jump through the so paintings? that's what I said. I, I was going to say, like, this looks exactly like the later game Mario 64. So It's going to be tough for me to pick my favorite thing, but I do love Mario going to meet Spawn in the Spawn dimension. Oh, when my he God. Flies through the that's wall. what Colin said. I wrote a note down. That is like, that is insane. He it's said, really it looks funny. worse exactly. than Spawn. Did you guys use the same assets? 
<laughs> I wish. Wasn't Spawn like 10 years later? Uh, it was like yeah. four years. Okay, not 10 It's years. the perfect crime, April. <laughs> the perfect crime. We've all forgotten. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And it goes on for so long, too. Mm. He's like, he's like ah! and he's like spinning in that classic like Evil Dead Two way as well. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> then we end up in Dino Hatton, and it yeah, it's like a Blade Runner nightmare. <laughs> I can't believe it's called Dino Hatton. <laughs> that that's that's like a Love Day. Uh, we got to come up with something better by the end. <laughs> Manhattan of Manhattan and Dinosaur. I don't know if they ever say it. Probably. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. yeah or at least I'm sure it's on a sign. Yeah. Somewhere. Everything and by is- Dino Hatton. This gigantic soundstage. That only starts to feel smaller and smaller the more time you spend on yeah, it. Yeah, there's like this like, one kind of... We got of, nowhere else to go. It's like this one city square that they keep going back to. I think it was shot mm-hmm. in a like a cement factory that they, uh, they yes, redid. Yes, it was. And I got to say, this supposedly, is... Supposedly, like, they're all going to die. Yeah. Like, um, like, this is... Uh, what was the John Wayne film? The General or something like that? About where he played um, oh, Genghis Khan? Oh, Genghis Khan. That's right. The That's right. Wasn't The Conqueror The Conqueror. Was and they, they they filmed on nuclear sites, and basically everyone who worked on that film passed away. Yeah, died Got of like cancer. Cancer. Um, yeah. But uh, hey, I mean, Faux was also shot in like a steel factory, so yeah. it can work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow, he got an abandoned Faux asbestos Mario factory. Brothers. But you're right. There's all these like hooks and stuff <laughs> that like are carrying like minecart looking things. Those mm-hmm. were probably just there. It, quite possibly you never know and it looks cool like well, there's a big yeah. opening shot I, where yeah you see, I, I like, gotta say like this is this is my favorite thing it is the production designer from blade runner obviously so if you i think he did Wee's big adventure as well didn't uh he? i don't know but well, it wouldn't uh, be surprised right. yeah he did a good job here uh if you know you didn't think of it as a mario movie you'd probably think hey this is a cool gritty like sci-fi film hey i'm watching free jack we watched that, right? Oh, I've never is seen that, is, that. is that the Emilio Estevez? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we did yeah, see Yeah, the that. one with Mick Jagger. Uh, Jagger. I think it was proposed at one point, and I think maybe you guys watched it and said, no, we don't <laughs> yeah, want to. Yeah, it's do. really I'm not lame. sure there's enough. So it is the same production designer as Pee Wee's Big Adventure, oh. and he also did like Demolition Man. Oh, okay. He wow. did. Uh, then you can tell. Terminal Velocity. Oh, jeez. Uh, My Science Project. And supposedly, I watched the hour long making of, and they said early on, they're like, we do don't want it to look like Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and then they hire the guy from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> just don't just make t- it look just like put, Blade Runner. Just put that off your resume. Uh, uh, yeah, so I got to say, it looks fantastic. I mean, yeah. I give props to the production design, mm-hmm. even though I don't think it worked um, <laughs> within the context of a Mario movie. Now, yeah, isolated. It does have a lot of detail mm-hmm. and if you took give it stills that. from this and you showed it to me i'm like i want to see this mario brother movie <laughs> i guess but i've yeah. seen it hundreds of times no more please even the cars like you know there's so many details but the cars have those like poles of like bumper cars they're like uh, mm. electric mm. so they have this like uh because i guess like gas comes from fossils doesn't it like Oh, that's the joke. It comes from dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah so, so everything everything is electric. Any. They have these like kind of big uh, electric turbines in the front of their cars, and they have those like poles with don't have uh, electrical tools. grids like the like bumper cars. Uh, so this every, is really the better world. Everything is sparking. It's trying to say that if you use only electric, it will still turn the world into a desert. <laughs> yeah, a nightmare. everything fucking explodes. There's car crashes like every two seconds in this. I, I think <laughs> that's just saying that like the dinosaurs are idiots because <laughs> everything is constantly crashing and like yeah. smashing. Yeah, um, it is kind of depicted that everyone in this movie is stupid, right? Yeah. Or sorry, in this in this world. Well, because they all have tiny brains, remember? Yeah. I guess so, they're yeah. Because they're dinosaurs. Um, so Princess Daisy should be like duh. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> It's more of a duh duh idiot Me and Colin went to both the same place duh. <laughs> We can't do that oh, anymore Mario, Colin. she's so smart You gotta hear this gal <laughs> That's a Hey pretty good... guys, it's me uh, My Princess Daisy sounds a lot like my Donkey Kong but <laughs> Hey, it's me, Donkey Kong <laughs> How amazing would it have been if at the end of the movie it's like, I brought some help, and then like oh. a guy in a gorilla suit with a tie. <laughs> like, oh. I did mention that, that I disliked the monkey scene at the end of this movie. I wasn't even thinking Donkey Kong. Mm. Um, I mean, let's be honest. He would probably be CG and look like shit. Yeah, uh, yeah but I mean... It would have been see see those kind of callbacks are what you have now. Back then, it wasn't so much about fan service. Mm-hmm. It would be Weirdly. like a Rick Baker like gorilla suit, and he's just wearing a tie. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I would now, love it. Now it looked like the uh, the gorilla from like Rampage or something like that. 
Yeah, that's no, he'd what be I all imagine. scarred yeah. up and like yeah. And then there'd be like a backstory anyway. for why he throws barrels. Oh, or he's gonna like that. be in the new Mario Brothers movie. Oh, he is. Oh, he's voiced by like Seth Rogen or something like that, isn't he? <laughs> <I mean, laughs> no, Seth Are Rogen. Just making this no, up? Seth Rogen, I believe, is in it, but I don't know if he does Donkey Kong. <laughs> why is that so surprising? I don't know. No, you're right. They released is... the. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it is Seth yeah. Rogen is playing Donkey oh, Kong. They released God. the whole cast list. Yeah, Charlie Day is Luigi. Jack Black is Bowser. Yeah. Oh, so. all right, whatever. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Listen, we're all going to see it on here. Why not? Coming soon to Patreon, I'm sure. Oh, Jesus, yeah. are you kidding me? You know I got to see it. So where are we now? They get arrested. They go to prison, right? Uh, Yeah, Denny introduced to Dennis Hopper and his wife, I guess. Uh, yes. Lady but, friend. Uh, what's the actress? So the famous story in this movie is that Dennis Hopper walked like a raptor the entire time and they had to cut around it. Oh, I we, did no, notice yeah. his arms were doing the hand Because he's a T-Rex. Yeah. yeah. He's, well, yes. I mean, they shouldn't have cut around that. They should have leaned into it. I, that's awesome. It's funny because now you say that, I remember that from the first time that I saw the movie. In the uh, theaters. Uh, and his wife is played by Aunt Petunia from the Harry That's Potter right. film. Fiona, Fiona Shaw, Shaw is her name. And she's a great actress. She's, uh, you know, like everyone just... just Hamming it up do, here. Yeah, she's doing her best. She does ham it quite a bit up, especially mm-hmm. in the third act. Um, um, so, yeah, the, the bros are, are robbed by a granny and then big... <laughs> Big birthday. Nothing is funnier than like a rapping mean granny, right? Yeah, yeah. and she goes flying on a, another crashing car. Yeah, Big Bertha like throws her onto a car, and it causes like this big pile. I like up. how Colin is just saying Big Bertha. You know what that is, right, Colin? A big fish, a fish. in the Mario Brothers game. Uh, I did not know that. Is that the kid's well, character's you do. name? So, and it's a big red fish. So that's uh, why she has a big. Does it have red... like spikes on it? Yeah. Um, well, kind of on its back, but I okay. I will say one of the things I did like is I like Big Bertha. She's an interesting character. She's funny. She's kind of like a villain, but then later she kind of helps them out. And mm-hmm. I like her sense of style. <laughs> yeah, she's still. <laughs> Are you gonna start wearing those kind of suits? April? A leather, like, oh, a spikes. leather spiky cat suit. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, and you will grab, uh, you know, mustachioed, <laughs> mustachioed men, and just shove them in your breasts the entire time. Oh my god, that scene. <laughs> Over yeah, she like again. steals the rock. So anyway, Daisy's been wearing this rock the entire time around her neck. And it's important for King some Koopa reason. needs it to complete the, I guess like the meteorite that hit the earth. Like this is a shard from it. And, you know, if it's put back together, he can merge, merge the dimensions the and take over the world, blah, blah, blah. So Big Bertha grabs it, uh, not knowing what it was. And then she just <laughs> she gets away by using these jump boots. The swamp so boots. So badly edited and cut around it's hilarious she's just on wires and it's just, just yeah the wire lifts lifts you up and you know it is <laughs> they're what just it like is. they can't move so they're just like awkward yeah she's like kind of frozen in this like <laughs> jetpack like it's yeah. like a mannequin or something it's really funny yeah, it's bad. Uh, there's a scene at the end that 100 percent looked like a bob hoskins like crash test dummy I, that they had on wires i could swear that they had a bob hoskins mannequin inside the car in one of the car chases but it was probably just a stunt uh, probably he was too drunk they couldn't have him moving that fast <laughs> they probably it was but i'm sure it wasn't a dummy he, he was drunk it looked like frank oz or something like that like he just had a mustache <laughs> Frank Haas is doubling for Bob Hoskins. <laughs> yeah. It was rough after Jim Henson passed away. <laughs> he was the only one on set with a mustache. Uh, I'm taking work wherever I can. <laughs> uh, do you want me to do it as Fozzie Bear or Miss Piggy? <laughs> uh, I'll do whatever. Um, so they go to jail yeah. and we get the Mario Mario brother joke. They meet Toad, played by, do you know who this person is? Uh, called? Mojo Nixon. He's a, a yes. musician. Oh, he is? Yeah, he just did like kind of comedy songs. Like, mm. is it Britney Spears? Britney Spears is having my two-headed baby, or yeah, that was his biggest song. Well, Spears? that would have been way after this movie. No, it was Debbie. it was something else. It was somebody else famous. Oh, shit, uh, I'm gonna look because I, I saw that two-headed baby thing. <laughs> or my two-headed love child, or something. Was Debbie, Debbie Gibson, Gibson is pregnant with my two-headed love right, child? Right, right. Yes. And okay. then Elvis is everywhere. He do kind of these joke songs. Um, okay, he's not in the movie very much. Yeah. No. But he plays well, a big character. He becomes a Goomba. Yeah, but I'm, I don't think he was uh, that actor was, in the suit. Uh, yeah, when Mojo Nixon was method. <laughs> yeah. He decided to like play the Goomba the entire. time. You can time. tell it's him because they have a harmonica holder in front of his, uh, his <laughs> yeah. Goomba face the entire time. I mean, a little bit more charismatic than Bob Dylan has been in the last few decades. Yeah. But come on, but, yeah, I haven't heard heard his uh, Christmas album. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, God. if you want charismatic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, guys, I love Bob Dylan. He's the best. He's never been bad. Anyway, moving on. This whole like cop shop scene is so nightmarish. It's it turns into like a Terry Gilliam film. It's almost yeah. like yeah, that's what it is. It's yeah. almost like Brazil. But bad Terry Gilliam. Yeah, oh. Brazil is all over this movie. I don't know why yeah. I didn't see it before. The I mean, I it. love Brazil, but this is like stinky. I Brazil. actually was thinking good. of Brazil because Bob Hoskins is oh, in that yeah, as well as right. a oh. kind of as a, a plumber. Yeah, a duck guy, it's not exactly a plumber, yeah, but he comes in. It's a short scene, yeah. but it's kind of the same character. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. I was yeah, and I was just thinking about that. Fuck, I'm like, what does it remind me of? It's like, oh, Terry Gilliam. Because they kind yeah. of like, they go to some like wide angles and it's all distorted and stuff like that. That is interesting though. Like Terry Gilliam can make this tone work. <laughs> at least in his well, older, at least in his older <laughs> movies. Yeah. He used to be able to. Um, and this scene, like Colin said, is nightmarish. Like they swing around a bunch and it's like, do, 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 do. It's like, yeah, oh. they're spraying them with things like the defungicide or whatever. It was a kind of funny scene when they're getting photographed for their uh, mug shots. And it looks like guns. Yeah, all these like guns come out and there's all these like laser pointers on their head and they're like, oh. <laughs> so their mug shots are them with like terrified faces. Um, yeah, that pictures were kind of funny. Uh, they meet Koopa, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, exposition. Exposition. It's not important. No. Uh, oh, yeah. and then Like we said, Toad gets turned into the Goomba, the little horrifying uh, tiny-headed person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are cute, though, I got to say. Done by uh, Patrick Totopoulos. Um, who was like did all Roland Emmerich's movies? Like the guy has only one style, and you can recognize it instantly <laughs> when you see it. Did he do the critters? No, no, he uh, did because they uh, look like not. critters. That, that's, he did that. No, those are the Chiodo brothers who did the critters. Oh, okay, he did like Godzilla and the ID Four. Uh, yeah, he also did. Um, didn't he do Underworld as well? He designed oh, those werewolves yeah, and shit. Yeah, and he even directed one of those movies. I think. Yeah, he did the third one. Ooh. Well, I will say uh, there's two Goomba designs. There's ones with the long, di- more yeah. dinosaur-like yeah. nose, and there's ones that are round with the giant smile. And the round ones I hate, like with a fiery passion. I don't want to look at that. Why did they give them that. big heads? They would have looked funnier if they had giant yeah, heads. Yeah, but the, like, the little ones are cute, I guess. But a, di- a, a, a tiny head on a gigantic body is just... A, a nightmare. I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of cute. Don't they just have like these like it. dumb smiles. Uh, I'm with you, April. I don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I just don't like. Uh, they es- nightmare fuel. They escape. They get in a car chase. This car Another chase. Another car chase. Is, is, yeah. Everything. It's just so noisy. It's just going from one place to the next. So many explosions. All the cars are like sparking constantly, I guess, from yeah. the electricity. <laughs> this is the thing about this movie is that like once you're introduced to the world, mm-hmm. the rest of it is such a mess that we just keep going back to like the same place. Yeah. Nothing really fun happens like the same locations yeah notable yeah that's a big problem with the picture i mean the dance club scene was at least i do like kind the dance of club. that's really fun that's kind of fun are we everybody are do we, the dinosaur are we at that part dun, yet dun, well yeah the car chase they're saved by fungus they keep seeing this fungus around you know the fungus whole city. <laughs> played by lance henry yeah <laughs> he did all the fungus himself wasn't that a reveal at the end oh my god so they keep <laughs> he was just around too that's why they cast <laughs> at various points of the he movie just, like, they're like himself. yeah you look like fungus <laughs> at various points in the movie uh, like the fungus seems to be like helping them and like giving them things a classic part of the Super Mario Brother game Fung- it right does April? help them Mario by making him taller so sure oh okay um, wait does he eat the fungus at some point well, yeah he eats a mushroom. Ma- mushroom you get a mushroom you no. get bigger even I know no, that I mean, just. In oh movie, in the movie he's like eating the no, fungus no yeah. uh, no <laughs> You just get the shits, I think. If you that should them. totally happen, he should eat one and get strong like Popeye or something. No, he thinks he's getting strong. <laughs> yeah, but and then you just do the comedy cut, and he's just like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But like, I John mean, Leguizamo. if it happened, it would be like freakish. Like one eye would be bigger than the other, and like just veins In all this over movie, his face. Yeah. I'm glad well, it didn't happen. There is one shot where they teleport into New York when the worlds eventually merge, and then uh, the worlds unmerge, and then they get kind of pixelated and teleported back and then mm. Mario grows to like twice his size in that one shot. Yeah. And I thought they were going to stick with it and now he's back to normal size when he's... <laughs> he was just like a giant Mario. I guess it was like, look again, Luigi. I'm Bob Hoskins. <laughs> you should have got a, a, a star. 
Um. So, uh, yeah, the uh, what, what are the names? Um, the Koopa kids. The Spike and yeah. Iggy. Spike and brains. Iggy. Uh, so they, they keep messing up. So yeah. Koopa decides to uh, evolve them to make them smarter so they don't fuck up as much. But all they do is act like Homer in the episode where we get a bigger vocabulary. Yeah. Which they, say, they say big words. I will admit, <laughs> yeah, I, I did find them kind of charming when they got smarter. Yeah, they reminded me of uh, Heckle and Jekyll. Remember the uh, talking magpies? No. The cartoon magpies. I say, uh, indubitably, that was a long time ago. Colin. Okay, how about the smart <laughs> Those gremlin? Those are Terry-tunes. Yeah, like Terry-tunes. Yeah, smart, smart They kind of talk gremlins. like smart gremlin. A oh, bit, yeah. Okay. Except without the accent. Yeah. But, you well, know, they kind of have an accent. A little bit, yeah. And like, yeah, I kind of would actually, well, maybe even want to hang out with them after they got smarter, so... <laughs> Why didn't they have the cool sunglasses that they wear in the movies? I know, or in the games. In the games. So, yeah, yeah in the game, they, they tried to give them cool haircuts, but in the games, they had, like, dyed purple spiky hair and stuff like that. Oh. They're, like, so the Koopa, there's a Koopa family in mm-hmm. Super Mario World, and they're, like, the mini bosses. So, in the castle, you would have to fight one of the Koopa family. Okay. And they, they, Iggy was the first one, and Spike was the second one. They keep calling Dennis Hopper uh, cousin in this one. Like, hey, cousin. Yeah, so I guess... All right, He's their yeah, it was Roy, Iggy, uh, Wendy. I'm looking here. Wendy. There's one called Ludwig. Yeah. Ludwig von Koopa. Ludwig. <laughs> um, Roy. Or you said Roy. <laughs> There's like. Is there a spike? Yeah. I mean. Uh, both like Morton. these Cooper twins are like the Simpsons. It's like, hey, it's Roy, our new uh, housemate. <laughs> yeah, you know, cooler and hip for the kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, are we at the dance club yet? Uh, not or yet. Or should I say the sex club? No, no. they go to the desert. First, <laughs> yeah, they, they? Yeah, in the desert. Yeah. They're saved by the fungus, but we. Uh, come back to Koopa's castle or where the hell it is and uh, it's not a castle I wish it was a castle whatever it's like a kind of hoity-toity Manhattan apartment or something like that yeah it's it's Trump Tower that's what it is yeah and then uh, so Princess Daisy uh, gets locked up and we meet Yoshi yes Ah! (laughs) I have a story about this when I saw this in the theater so Yoshi, I don't know. He's kind of cute. He's Colin like little... is pro Yosh in this movie. I, well, yeah, he looks okay. He's pretty cute. He doesn't do anything. Oh, he just goes like you know. He's got the Frank Welker voice. Ah! Oh, there, Frank Welker is all over this. Oh scene. yeah. Like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I remember sitting in the theater. So this movie came out uh, 1993. I think it was maybe May or something like that. It came out two weeks before Jurassic Park. And Two weeks. I was Ooh. psyched before, you know, seeing Jurassic Park. I was like, oh, my God, I can't wait to see these dinosaurs. And when Yoshi came up on the screen, I was like, Jurassic Park better have some good dinosaurs because this is the new high water mark. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to beat Yoshi because this is yeah. the greatest dinosaur I've ever seen on screen. Wow. Um, and maybe it was the greatest dinosaur on screen up until that point. Up until two weeks later. <laughs> yeah. Where it was like, oh, oh, okay. Oh. I was wrong. Yoshi will be here and he will not be talking <laughs> or doing anything. <laughs> yeah. He'll just walk very slowly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I Honestly, I remembered Yoshi. Not since Gizmo danced across the table in Gremlins 2. <laughs> I remembered Yoshi looking more like disgusting and gross. Uh-huh. And, uh, <laughs> like no- slime dripping yeah. from no, lip, yeah, but no, he's like I mean, and burping. he's he's c- c- cute. He's cute. Uh, there's some, yeah. I, I, you know me, I love dinosaurs, especially baby raptors. But there's something about <laughs> what? Remember, you know the baby <laughs> classic April. I do remember the baby raptors in Jurassic World. Oh, okay, they were or cute. Jurassic World too. And anyway, but like something about this this you mean, Yoshi you meant, just yeah. did not do it for me. Oh. And I love Yoshi, like the original, <laughs> the cartoon. Yeah, you wanted Mario to like jump and then drop him down a pit so he could get a little bit higher. <laughs> I, I just well, I wanted him to be less lifelike i guess i don't know less i wanted life-like. it to look more like the cartoon more and, cartoony yeah, yeah but no it looks more like an actual dinosaur well, which apparently is good. they had them redesigned because they um as soon as the trailer for jurassic park came out they were like oh shit we're gonna get creamed redesign them and they had patrick totopoulos like make him more cartoony uh, huh. so they wouldn't be competing directly against jurassic park well he does have like a giant head yeah. And a tiny little body. And yeah. the noises are cute, but... <laughs> They're yeah. mostly like to hide the servo noises from the yeah, machinery. Yeah, it can kind of barely move. Yeah. 
Patrick Totopoulos, you need to fix Yoshi, and also we need the best T Rex <laughs> that cinema has ever seen. Yeah. Well, I got this puppet. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Toss it in the Yoshi movie. Yoshi really should have had a giant tongue go out and eat a berry. Yeah, it's weird he that did. he doesn't. But I, I does don't. He yeah, he attacks Fiona Shaw with his giant tongue. Uh, I must he, have missed he that. He saves Princess Daisy when Fiona Shaw and Daisy are wrestling, and okay. then uh, he like lashes out with his big tongue, and then he pulls. We gave ammunition to the fans. We did that on purpose. We planned it out just so you guys can be like, they barely watched the movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, I watched it. No, I was watching it. Um, uh, I did watch it twice. <laughs> I burned it out of my mind. Eternal Sunshine. We yeah, watched he, it last after night. It ended he kind of like drags I'm Fiona be Shaw. Forced to watch it again in six months. He kind of sure. drags Fiona Shaw off screen. Okay. So well, I didn't know that was. A thing that well, he did. It should have made the Yoshi noise. What's Just that? Like the blue? No, it's like the. <laughs> I can't do a human can't do it. <laughs> Frank he sits on it. Get it's a like, Frank Welker in here. <laughs> yeah. And now the Yoshi, when he sticks out his tongue, he goes like. <laughs> but that's like n- new Yoshi sound. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're OG Yoshi. <laughs> also, by the way, Justin, you mentioned how you'd seen this like a million times and talked about it on like several other podcasts it's not our fault you have like 10 podcasts dude <laughs> <laughs> no it's not no i watched it 10 with bad friends, movie podcasts <laughs> with peter with uh matthew and pierce and after that matthew was like we'll never watch this again you did it for loose cannons <laughs> no we just watched it for fun um. and i was looking at my old letterbox review and matthew was like a year ago <laughs> why did you watch this again <laughs> Oh, God, so it was only a year ago that you had seen it. Yes, oh, Jesus. That I watched it again. Well, that's your own fault, man. <laughs> this is all your fault. Yeah, it's my fault. I did, did I put Super Mario Brothers on this list? I think uh, No, whatever. it was an April executive decision. So well, somebody, yeah. okay, I have to say, there's one really creepy scene where Koopa is, like, hitting on Daisy. He's being really lecherous. Yeah, because yeah, he's turning into a dinosaur and his tongue is yeah, like, he flicks yeah. this, like, Ugh. long tongue in her and he goes, he goes, little girl's... <laughs> Never forget the first time they're kissed by a lizard. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now we're surely at the dance club. We get scene. to the dance club. So um, it's called the Boom Boom Bar, where uh, <laughs> Big Bertha is the. So Big Bertha is the bouncer at the Boom Boom Bar. And it's not even. Boom Boom, as far as I know, not a Mario reference. Couldn't they call it like the Hammer Bros something or, or, or Dinosaur Land? Or? There's a lot of references uh, in the background. Probably in the yeah. signage uh, and like stuff like that. Yeah, there is a sign yeah. at one yeah. point that said Hammer Bros something. Yeah. Um, you know, or like, you know, I'm, I'm sure Toad's <laughs> Treasure Trust or something like yeah, that. Yeah, th- there's something on YouTube, I guarantee you, where it's like they the go fire the, flower. How about that? The, the piranha Easter. plant. It goes on forever. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're dancing, and they uh, all of a sudden everyone starts doing a choreographed dance. The dinosaur dance. Everybody do the dinosaur. Everybody Open the door, get, get on, on the floor. floor. Everybody, Everybody do the dinosaur. dinosaur. Which apparently um, existed before this movie. And apparently the directors yes. had like strippers on set. Like they were actually doing like strip teases and stuff. And then the producers were horrified. Oh, uh, so creepy. Yeah. I, yeah I, um, well, so, anyway. Yeah. So, so Mario <laughs> is trying to get the rock back off of Big Bertha. So they do this like, you know, slow dance or whatever. It's getting uh, it's getting pretty hot. It's like a tango. He's, they're like bumping and grinding. He basically like motorboats her boobs trying to <laughs> trying to get yeah. this necklace off her chest. But yeah, but then he's behind her and he's like grinding against her ass and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, he's still Listen, just trying to get the necklace off. Once you turn on that Bob Hoskins charm, you can't turn oh it off. Oh my God, I was like. So was... she's into it. She realizes, <laughs> she realizes he took the necklace, but she just decides to help them uh they're they're about to get raided by uh fiona Di- shaw's character yeah and so uh she's like take the the rocket the boots. rocket boots. so we get to see this again only with the and you gotta girls. load them which you see very briefly oh. is miniature uh bullet bills right bullet bills those that's are like right. the long ones so yeah. that's a cute reference i'm into that uh, and it's at uh, this point that we're introduced, it, just when you thought the movie couldn't get any more nightmarish better. Or, or disgusting, uh, Iggy and Spike introduce Daisy to her father, which is... Now, this is such a weird scene because like, we're, we, we see the slime... And then we see Mario and Luigi do something, and then we come back to the slime again. Yeah, it's very like, weird. We come back to it like ten times in this movie, yeah, it's, and it's like the. It's so disgusting. It looks like the alien queen's egg sack that she's laying yes. the eggs from. <laughs> That's exactly what it, it like, comes just, yes. out like a sphere. Yeah, it's like a dripping anus uh, <laughs> of like fungus that's hanging, and uh, so I guess. 
Koopa devolved her father, the king, and he, just until he was like a fungus. So it's actually the king that's like spreading across and. Cho- Why wouldn't he just Apparently. kill the king? I don't know. Why wouldn't he just like shoot that's him? That's not head? what he does. He devolves people. Yeah. Or evolves that's, people. This is my one move. You can't have yeah. murder in a children's movie. Mm. I mean, <laughs> some people get murdered, don't they? I don't know. No, you... Oh, yeah. The queen gets like horrifyingly yeah. like, burned into a skeleton against the Fiona oh, yeah. Shaw. Well, we'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finally, so the Mario brothers are going to break into Koopa's whatever compound. Compound. <laughs> and they finally get their boots and the uh, their outfits from the game, right? Yes. Like yeah. an About hour. Time. What do they do first? They make a bunch of Goombas dance so, in an improvised scene. <laughs> Is it an improvised scene? Yeah, they improvise it on the oh set. Oh my really? God. See, yeah. for some reason, isn't it weird when you see a movie as a kid, what you remember? Mm-hmm. This was the yeah. scene I remembered. Really? And I was just, I think maybe I was at this point where I was just like, what is happening? <laughs> this like, is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I guess it's like the elevator music, but it's playing the Dr. Zhivago, uh, Somewhere My Love. Is that what that da, is? Da, 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 uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. And then they and all so start, he like, gets dancing. them all to dance with each other. And like, Prince- honestly, it seemed, out, it seemed out of place in this movie. Yeah, it is kind of funny though, because they escape and then uh, they cut back to the goom is like still waltzing and they're like turning around and like dancing with one another. And then the elevator yeah. door opens and it's like their supervisor is standing there and they mm-hmm. all kind of like file out of the elevator, like embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. Um, oh. Well, I was laughing. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be a favorite thing. Not for me. No, no. I was like, uh, you know. Colin, you know what? I think he's going to come out of this one with a 9 out of 10 on his mind. <laughs> no, <what? laughs> no way. I already said I liked, uh, I liked the set design. Okay, yeah, my favorite part. April, you got to pick something. I, I, my favorite part is coming up. I don't, re- I don't remember the exact order of it, but um, Fiona Shaw gets like electrocuted at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. I did not like that scene when I saw this. On the I don't know why, but I thought it was funny because she's fine, but her hair yeah, <laughs> goes. Oh, goes I thought you. I thought you long. meant that when she gets blown against the wall, no, it turns. That's into a also my second favorite part. So it's part of the same <laughs> thing. I like it when she gets electrocuted and her hair goes giant, and but she's okay. It's just really good, like hair design mm-hmm. doesn't it make her go like insane as well i think she was already insane yeah. she turns against koopa mm-hmm. um because mm-hmm. she wants to be the blah 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 herself and then so they have to like put this stupid necklace stone Shard into a big into meteor, meteor thing yeah. so she does it well and she starts to blow herself up and then princess daisy is like oh somebody i don't know who it was said it has to be me or because no one else could take it could take the power yeah of surging and fiona them. shaw like goes, because Wah! and she goes up against the wall and is obliterated yeah <laughs> and her, her because impression. royal blood matters right that is the true <laughs> yeah. leader of our oh my society God, it's eugenics it's a hidden the dinosaurs are message. mammals there was a really funny scene that got a genuine laugh for me it's like when Bob Hoskins, I think, falls in front of like cars that are coming towards him, and there's like a <laughs> there's like a skeleton stuck to the front of yeah, one of the cars. Yeah, I saw that. I was that's just like a weird like detail that they don't even acknowledge. It's like they ran at somebody else who tried to put the the crystal in. No, it's like it's just like the you know the car is like run over somebody and they just didn't bother like scooping the body off and it just rotted yeah. like. So now it's a skeleton. Yeah. Um, but no, like her, the lady's like skeleton impression. That's like something out of like Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, it exactly. Does look like and then that. like later when they're in that room, it's just there. Like it's still <laughs> in the shot. And they're, yeah. But she's got her, uh, her like gigantic electrified hair too. Yeah. It's like kind of exactly. imprinted. Into yeah. Her hair also turned into it a skeleton. It looks like a fossil or it's something. It's really funny. Yeah, I, f- exactly. It's yeah. fossil like. Um, and then like during the scene where like Luigi and Daisy are like, you know, we gotta shove the thing into the thing. Mario's Whoa. just on like a like platform outside, like f- like fighting with Koopa. He's fighting Koopa. So this is my favorite scene because I love the little uh, ba bomb and how long <laughs> it takes to explode. Yeah, oh my like, and everyone is terrified of it too. They're like, ah, ba bomb. Yeah, the entire crowd like, whoa. They just like run away, and like it like falls down. It's upside down <laughs> on the like walkway. Yeah, it's just walking. walking. That's funny. Beep, 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 it's so slow for like yeah. an hour. Somebody like, like cab driver sees it and he's like, oh, ba bomb, 
and he like screeches his car and then it's just like slowly and then we get a car crash something that we have not seen a hundred times already <laughs> in this movie hope you like noise and explosions and, and sparks. sparking <laughs> now in Silvestri score I do like sparks but not that kind now I remember as a kid so there's this fight with Bowser and then Bowser it's like he's gonna turn into a dinosaur they've been teasing this the entire yeah. movie and he does for like two shots and it's it's kind of just a dinosaur head that's popping out of the yeah. big bucket that's carrying all the like yeah it's really kind of just like ah but that's they clearly <laughs> just didn't have the budget to do like a big dinosaur yeah even though they had what, the they budget Jurassic to do Park? everything else but yeah um so a world and he just turns into slime too it doesn't explode or yeah, anything kinda, it's so anti-climactic yeah he just devolves into like slime and just hits the ground well we already mentioned the scene where they go to the real world and that guy gets turned into a monkey but then they yeah. then they go I, back yeah, like to the other world. Yeah, he turns Scapelli into a monkey. Yeah. Also, uh, Mario and the brothers are uh, the ones guilty of making the World Trade Center disappear. Oh yeah. The yes. Twin Towers. Oh god, that was horrifying. Yes. Um, but this, I hate this. You relive stupid, that like, day all over <laughs> again. Stupid, <laughs> effect, like like particle disappearing effect, effect yeah. thing. April, that cost twenty million dollars <laughs> to do. I hate it. But it's, you know, it's of the time, so what can you do? Yeah, my note was, Twin Towers again! <laughs> oh, no! That's what they said on September. Oh, Not <laughs> they again! They were like, it's a, it's a Mario Brothers all over again! <laughs> Bob Hoskins is Call like, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> so then we, yeah, he, uh, Koopa dies. Uh, everything, I guess the fungus evolves, the fungus king, and Lance Hendricks- Henriksen just plunks down into this chair. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, he, and the story goes, he improvised that coughing up the fungus. Yeah, he does. He just coughs it okay. up. And he, he coughs up. And he's like, because he has it in his. Yeah, hand. and he's like, I'm back. I love those plumbers. And that's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> that's it. It's just like one jar. Okay. Watching it this time, I was like, wait, why does Lance Henriksen get turned back into? Um, a human, <laughs> human. Beats me. Like they didn't, they didn't do anything. No. <laughs> and also, just because Cooper died, how come everyone's like, "Yay, now it's good." It's systematic. It's a rot in the people, <laughs> not just the leader. Ooh, what is this? Batman? Yeah, you take out the leader, and they're all just nice. And they're all happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was really Cooper holding them all yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. Um. So they have to say their tearful goodbye to Daisy because she needs to be with her own people. Mm-hmm. With, got her dad with, back. With, with Yosh. Mario's like, why don't we create a democracy and they can vote you into being uh, instead of, you know, you just assume power. Uh, yeah, so she's going to be the princess and, and Lance Hendrickson's yeah. the king, I guess. I did appreciate yep. that his throne looked like the throne from Mario 3. Um, so, uh, points for that. So they go home and they're making they're making pa- nine and a half out of ten. They're making pasta. Yeah. They're back in their Brooklyn apartment. They saved all the other girls and Mario's girlfriend, whatever yeah. her name was. Um, and uh, you think that the movie is going to end? And then there's like a knock at the sudden, door. Daisy bursts in. She's all like disheveled. Uh, she's like looking like Ripley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's that uh, uh, Nintendo gun? The big bazooka thing. The super scope. Oh, super, super scope. scope. That's not what she's holding though. Yeah, it is. Is it? Well, is it? I think. No, it's uh, not. But, she's holding like a flame. Thing. Oh, okay. But King Koopa yeah. had the uh, super scope. They were just painted black. They okay, were the, they all were right. The personal devolver guns. All right. Well, I didn't notice, but I guess it's because it's a little painted, Easter egg. Okay, cool, I guess. You know, coming. My friend had one of those, and I was like, oh, man, he's so rich. What an it asshole. It probably sucked. I've never used one of well, those, but I have used the it, duck hunt gun. <laughs> one of the main, yeah, and you held it up right to the screen yes. and just fired. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> like hit like 10% of the time. Uh, the Super Scope was made for like was it Yoshi Island was the main Super Scope game where I guess I assume I you're blowing up Yoshi's I don't know my friend didn't let me they had that. like special God games it. it wasn't any game I guess so. I feel like there was oh, like yeah, two two games well, yeah there was oh, Yoshi Safari is right so you're shooting Yoshi's yep. all those attachments <laughs> they only had like two games that supported them and they sucked. Yeah. Ah, uh, the power glove. It's so bad. Yeah, that supposedly sucked. What was that <laughs> robot from one? The Remember? Virtual Boy. Oh, Rob. Oh, it Rob the robot. Yeah. There was only one game, and he like stacks stuff. Yeah, he just like. <laughs> tur- yeah, per- <laughs> it takes him forever. No, was it Rob? What was the Nintendo robot? It's gonna. Bump they call it R O B. The um. Oh, R O B. Rob- robotic operating buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
I want a robotic operating buddy. Yeah, all he all he could do was like pick stuff up and stack yeah, it. Yeah, st- it was, was like it. a gyroscope, but then it like stacked it to like push a button on the other on the second yeah. controller. But it took like five minutes for him to like turn and like put mm. this thing on. Um, so yeah, where was Rob in this da- movie? That's yeah, the real Rob should have showed up at the end. So Daisy shows up. What does she say? She's like, "You'll never believe what happened." Like, I need your help. And they're like, oh, we would believe it. Yeah, the people rebelled against yeah. me. They did not want monarchy to come back, and now we have to kill them. <laughs> and then the movie's over. It's like sequel. It's like Christopher uh, Lloyd showing up at the end of Back to the Future. It's know? so cheap. When are we getting the long gap Mario Brothers movie? Well, there's also a mid credit sequence, right? It's With... post credit. Right, it's, you're right. It's at the very, very end. It's Spike and Iggy. And what, what do they say? It's like the two these two Japanese guys show up from Nintendo, and they're like, oh, we'd like to... Uh, Oh, yeah. Make a game based on your life story. And they're like, yeah, the Koopa cousins or something yeah. like that. I, it, I didn't hate that. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cute because you think it's going to be Mario Luigi. It's not. Oh, my God. The movie's well, over. me and April are very excited for the next Super Mario <laughs> Brothers movie when they're pulling up radishes. Yeah. They're weirdly in a... A play of some kind. Yeah, <laughs> where you go through doors. <laughs> I need shy guys. I need sh- I need shy, shy guys. guys on stilts. People have said, "Oh, you know the guy in the gas mask." So they're shy guys in the Super Bro- Mario Brothers. Oh movie. God, Come those like on. garbage men who look like gimps. I think that's yes. a stretch. <laughs> oh, I think that's a stretch to call them shy guys. Um, well, Big Bertha was a fish. Exactly right. right. Um, so anyway, that's the movie. Um, you voted yes. for it. We talked about it for an hour. <laughs> Are you happy now? Should we do? Should we do more of these polls? Um, I don't know. But every hundred episodes. Yeah, yes. every hundred episodes. But I will say we did get some good suggestions of uh, movies that will probably show up on the show just of their own accord. I do want to do Chappie. I've yeah, well, you're you're that. lucky because uh, you wanted to do Chappie, and then someone yeah, we're going to do Chappie. Someone also happened. I want to have a Neil Blomkamp it. discussion. All right, so maybe Chappie coming up. Soon. I am Chappie. <laughs> but <laughs> I was just laughing thinking about it. Oh, I hated that movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it since I saw it in theaters. Oh, what a good well, day. I think we saw Olympus Has Fallen on that same day. Oh, not bad. So it was a good day. Um, but thanks again to all our listeners who have uh, stuck around for 100 episodes, new, old, somewhere in between. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Super Mario Brothers is available where? It's available. Is it? I don't think it's, it's not streaming, streaming it's anywhere because it's a Hollywood Pictures. Oh, and isn't that a subsidiary of Disney? I think it was. It, well, yeah, but it's not on Disney yes, Plus. Yes, it is. So it's not. This movie's never going to be seen anywhere, probably. <laughs> but the way that rights are, there is an Australian Blu-ray that you can get, and also a UK. Yeah, Blu-ray. Luke, UK uh, Blu-ray came out. I think yes. recently too. Steelbook. <laughs> nice. So you can get it on Blu-ray, folks. If you're in Toronto, you can probably. Uh, I know Bay Street Video had the Australian Blu-ray for sale for a while. That's where I picked. But it everybody's up. dubbed in like Australian. Oi, <laughs> oi, Mario! <laughs> Mario. It's, yeah, uh, actually, uh, Bob Hoskins uses his real voice, uh, his British voice in it. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Mario. <laughs> Hello, that Governor. Doesn't sound so bad. Um, but if you want to email the podcast, we're at no such thing as a bad movie at gmail.com. We're on Twitter at no such thing pod and we're on Patreon, patreon.com slash no such thing as a bad movie. If you subscribe at the $5 level, uh, you can get a little bonus episode every two weeks. And uh, next week, you're actually going to be getting two for one. We talked about two <laughs> movies. Can you imagine? We get so bored talking about yeah, the first two one new like, movies. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's not spoil what that will be, but there are about two bad movies that came out recently and uh if you want to find that me, could be anything it's true if you want to find me <laughs> on instagram twitter i'm at april admansky you can find me on twitter to clue j d-e-c-l-o-u-x letter j or on letterbox at justin the clue uh you can find me on twitter sergeant zima s-g-t-z-i-m-a and that's it for this week Thank you for celebrating 100 episodes with us, Yay. you guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for listening. Thank That's you. right. Thank you for these wonderful suggestions. Yep. I hope we didn't uh, uh, disappoint anyone. <laughs> or upset anybody. Upset anybody. But thanks for listening. I'm April Atmansky. I'm Justin DeClue. I'm Colin Cunningham. <laughs> and remember, there's no such thing as a bad movie. It's a me, Colin. <laughs>